Hi everybody, Cheryl here. I'm going to show you um, how I mix up my um, chia drink for when I go out running. And as you can see, I am literally getting ready to run out the door right now. And I thought what better time to show you how I do this. So pardon the way I look. Um, I'm ready to get my sweat on. So <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you have seen, and first before I start, I need to say, this is how I do it. I don't sell this stuff. I don't, um, I don't have anything to do with this company. I just thought I would share with everybody because I know I'm not the only person out there who has struggled with trying to lose weight and trying to get a little bit of extra energy um, and I'm talking positive energy um, as most of you know I do suffer from an anxiety disorder so um, things like caffeine or diet pills that you buy over the counter is negative energy for me I can't take that stuff I will have a panic attack and I just stay away from caffeine I stay away from diet pills um, but as I've gotten older, um, I'm finding it's really hard not only to do what I need to do to keep my, my routine up, um, but it's also getting very hard to lose the weight. And since I started using chia, I started using this, I want to say it's been about, golly, six months now I've been using it. And I can speak personally for myself. And I could speak personally for a few other people who I know personally who use this. And my suggestion to you would be um, do like I did. I went to my local, actually my local Walmart had the chia seeds where I could buy them. I think it was a 14 ounce size container or it was a bag. It was in a bag. And I wanted to try it out before I bought a big supply of them because everybody honestly is going to act, you know, a little bit different to them. For me, um, I did not have, um, I did not have negative energy. This was not anxiety energy. This is what I refer to as good energy. I had, um, you know, it kind of gave me the push. Um, it was, it's more, how do you describe it? Like when you're out running and stuff and you just can't go and you're like, Oh God, I can't, I can't even just walking. You just don't want to. And this kind of gave me that push to go the extra mile. Um, and what you need to do is they say suggested, the suggested amount is two tablespoons is your serving size. Now I would start with one tablespoon of this just to see how you react to it and I'm going to show you how I do this because I know you guys have seen the chia because I, I have I've seen it in my stores where it's mixed in drinks and I think it's like you get like a six ounce size for like three or four bucks and I'm cheap I'm not buying that I'll make my own and so I do make my own I can honestly just drink it in water and it's fine it's just it's a mellow nutty flavor and it's something that I mean you're just gonna have to try for yourself um, some people there's a texture issue or they don't like the texture of it mixed in a drink the texture issue honestly does not bother me um, they're kind of, as my husband says, they're a little slimy. I just drink them down. Um, they don't bother me. Um, because I'm making this for the video where it's going to be kind of fast and I'm going to be actually using this right away. Um, I'm not going to do what I usually do, but this is just a power aid. Um, and like I said, you can mix it in water. I've mixed it in, um, where I've done very watered down Kool-Aid or you could take the water and fill these jars and get the you know the flavor enhancing drops put the flavor enhancing drops in there so you don't even have to waste your money on the Powerade just buy the flavor enhancing drops fill this bottle or get yourself a bottle fill it with water and put those drops in there um, but this is how I do it um, I have first of all here's the seeds I buy it now. This is uh, this is still my old label from when I bought it in the three pounds. Now I buy it in five pounds. Uh, I'm going to try to get this close up to here. I'll give you guys the eBay link for who I buy from. She is really good with her prices and she ships it priority. Um, but these are the chia seeds. They're organic. Um, so, and they're, they're gluten-free, vegan, they're raw, non-GMO. Um, 
So what I do since, like I said, since I, I've been taking these for a while and I know how I react to them, I use a little bit more than three tablespoons. Again, suggested is two tablespoons. So what I'm gonna do is I have a, just a measuring cup and I just use this because it's easy to pour and I'm gonna try to get this in a frame here so we can see what I'm doing. I don't, okay, this is gonna be awful. I can already see that. So this is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my drink and I'm gonna pour, because I use so many, I use, these things expand. And it's better to have this at room temperature and you can mix this up the night before because the seeds do have to expand. Well, they really don't have to. I'm gonna use it right away and I'll get into that in a minute. And I'm drinking some of this because as they expand, it's going to take up the space. So, Alrighty, so then I take my chia seeds. And of course, this bowl is hard to open with my acrylic nails on. But um, I have my tablespoon. Am I in frame? I can't tell. Um, it's just a you know, measuring tablespoon. I keep it in the bowl. And by the way, when you're buying in bulk like this, you know, three, five pound sizes, keep these refrigerated. Keep them in your refrigerator so they stay. And you can see they're the, the black and white seeds. But they'll stay fresh longer. So I'm going to do what I, this is, yeah, like I said, it's two heaping is what's recommended. Um, I do three. <laughs> Three and a half. That's what I do. And then I need a spoon. And then you just take your spoon and mix it up well. Um, and if this uh, power aid was room temperature, it would absorb much, much quicker. Um, but you can see they're kind of floating around in there. What's going to happen is they're seeds, so they're going to absorb, you know, the drink, and they're going to take on the flavor of the drink, too. Um, like I said, honestly, if the flavor of the seeds don't bother you, um, do it in just plain water, and I do it in just plain water. I know some people who are, like, restricted with their calories and stuff, they don't want to have the, you know, the sugars or, or whatever that comes in these drinks. So, um, and you can also eat them on your salads and things like that. But this way I find works better for me, um, when I'm running or even walking. Um, it just gives me that extra boost, um, that I need. And, you know, like for my best friend, she uses these too, and she's the same as me. She can drink a cup of coffee and go into complete nervous breakdown with panic attack, but she can handle the chia seeds. Um, but then again, her daughter, who's never had a panic attack day in her life, she took the chia seeds and I think she was running around the apartment building going crazy. She called me up. She goes, my daughter's crazy. She's running around. <laughs> so definitely before you use a whole bunch of these, let your body, see how your body reacts to them. Again, I'm not saying I know, I'm not telling you how to do this. This is how I do it. You know, you guys use your own, you know, check it out, do your due diligence, read up on these things. Um, they are natural. This isn't a chemical. Um, but as you can see, they're starting to absorb. And usually if this was room temperature, it'd take about 10 minutes and I just walk around, get dressed, do whatever, and then pour it back in the bottle and it'd be actually almost like a pudding consistency. And then when I mix it in with the rest of my um, drink, it, you know, it's then a liquid that's, it's got a bunch of little slimy balls in it as my husband puts it, but I don't mind it. Um, a little tip for um, getting a little extra energy out of these is chew them. If you're in mid run, I know like when I'm running and I start feeling like, oh, I just can't, I just can't. As I, what I do is I start drinking it right before I start running and I drink it during my run. And I try to have it finished before I'm done because I don't want to have a whole bunch of energy left over. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so then when I'm done running, I want to lay down. 
And, you know, so I, what I do is I try to drink it up be, while I'm running or, or walking or whatever, you know, or if I'm doing exercise or cardio or whatever, I try to just get it all done. But, um, but if you want a quick burst, um, like I was doing, um, a 10 K and I was halfway through and I noticed a lot of people there had their own chia drinks too. I wasn't the only one <laughs> that had a chia drink. Um, we were all, you know, biting down on the chia seeds and it would just kind of give you that extra, okay, I can just keep pushing, um, sort of thing. But again, please, 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 if you've never used this before, start out with a tablespoon. Don't do any more than that. And, um, you know, you can also take it by itself and just eat it by the, the spoonful too without mixing it in there if you want to do it that way. I mean, there's many ways. Go online and, and investigate it. I'm just basically, um, you know, this was kind of a request where some people were curious too. So um, I'm just saying this is how I do this for me. So anyway, again, this is not completely turned into a gel yet, but that's fine because I personally don't mind it this way. Um, I will chew them as I'm running. It does not bother me. So I just have a little funnel here. Again, I'm awkward here. So I just have a little funnel here. Um, I stick it in my thing. And then I fill it up. I just hope I took out enough Powerade to put this back in because this will take up space. And yeah, I'm good because I drank some of it out of there. And I'm just going to scoop it in. This is, yeah, this should have sat for a while. But again, like I said, this is just for the purpose of showing you guys what I do. And this is really giving me a kickstart with my weight loss. Um, the thing I noticed the most was, you know, I have a Fitbit. And on the days that I don't use this, um, I notice it, it takes a much more time for me to get my heart rate up and to keep it up when I do use this stuff. It keeps my heart rate up. So I'm in more of the cardio zone and fat burning zone for a much longer period whoops, of time when I use the Chia versus not using the Chia. So I'm just going to shake that up. And then, of course, they are going to settle. They're going to settle to the bottom as you're running or doing your exercise. So just make sure you shake before before you drink it and that's that's how I do it um this is my my energy drink my chia drink now I again I'll put the link below to who I buy these from on eBay I don't think I paid more than 15 bucks for five pounds I honestly I don't remember um it wasn't that much I know it costs more at Walmart. It was 10 bucks for 14 ounces. Um, but just make sure you get the, the gluten-free, organic, non-GMO ones. Um, because I, I've heard where some people have bought these and there was just junk in them. So I've, been, I've had a lot of luck with this seller. So I will definitely make sure you guys know who I buy from. Because I have been consistently buying from this person and my good friend also. She buys from them, and then she's got now, she's got her friend buying from them. So, so far, we've all had really good luck with this seller. So, anyway, I hope that this was helpful. Um, again, um, if you have any questions, comment down below. Um, just ask if you have any questions. I, you know, I'll try to answer as best as I can. Again, like I said, I'm not a professional with this. This is just something I have started doing for myself and I just thought I'd share because um you know it speaks volumes when I could see it on my Fitbit and I could see that my heart rate stays up and I do sweat more which is good um and I just have more energy and I can just keep going a little bit longer rather than pushing because honestly when you hit my age it's just a lot of work to even go <laughs> a little bit so, 
<laughs> um, this has been a lifesaver for me. And yeah, you can see see how it's all settling now if you make it the night before it'll definitely gel up much better and you know if you end up making it too thick rule of thumb drink some down or put some aside for later and add water to it that's what i do um because i'll be honest these power aids are really sweet to me anyway so i will probably what i'll do is guzzle it about down to here before i start running and then add water to it just to water it down because i don't know i just think these are sweet um, so again, I hope this was helpful. Um, comment below if you have any questions, whatever I'm here. So have a good one. I'm going to go for my run. Love y'all. Bye.